So I don't know if this hand works. I assume it is. Robo's fishing for a correct uh, position for his headphones, it looks like. So we just saw Eastside play the Puff matchup in pools against Strawberry Love. Um, Strawberry Love definitely... Oh, I should... Oh, okay, no, we'll come in, yeah, never mind. <laughs> They're out of sync. We're watching the stream next to us. Um, Strawberry Love is pretty much the, the reason that I know the Puff matchup, so he, he should know the Fox matchup pretty well, so Eastside beating him is... You know, a pretty good testament as to mm. how well he knows the matchup, or at least being patient enough to make it work for him and figure it out as he goes. Uh, the big thing that we saw uh, happening in his set versus Strawberry Love is that despite uh, Strawberry Love being like already in kill percent from lasers, uh, he was too afraid to like take space away from Esife when he was shooting lasers at him. So, uh, one, if that happens again from Esife, you know, Robo should be at least being a little bit more proactive in his spacing and taking the stage away from him from doing it. And the best way to do that would be probably wave dashing forward a bunch. Um, and if we see by the warm up here, much like Hungry Box, Robo is doing lots of wave dashing in his warm up. So I'm thinking he's probably thought about it a little bit. I'm sure him and Strawberry Love talk maybe because they knew that this matchup was going to come. Mm -hmm. uh, alternatively, though, uh, Esife could just stop mm -hmm. shooting lasers at that point and worry about proactive spacing himself. Yeah. The other big thing, in the neutral at least, in that matchup was um, Strawberry Love, when he would like do a short hop bear and whiff, he would cancel into a jump to try to catch him coming in again. But after that one, he jumped again. And, you know, he'd whiff one back air low to the ground, and next thing you know, he's four jumps in the air, and Esife yeah. would find a way under him. So, I think Robo... Is a little bit more grounded than Strawberry Love, and we'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that should make a difference, because yeah, that was a lot of. The so first thing happens is a rowboat calls him going to the bottom platform with an up air. Uh, that might not seem like a lot of damage, but if he does get an up air under a platform now, he will be able to do the tech trap rest. Comes in with a neutral air. Okay, nice shine. That's really good. Goes just takes control center stage, tries to get a little bit of damage. He's afraid he grabs. He he's rolling a little bit. Um, now see, at, at that point, that Nair is actually pretty easy to trade with with Fox, and this is the second time that Robo has fallen down with it. So here soon he's going to, yeah, he's going to do it again. He's going to do a couple back airs, and just like Strawberry Love, he's, he's jumping a second time and then falling down with Nair. That was good. Go for an up air probably. Wow. Can't really edge guard Puff very well from that. Best thing you could do is just try to get stage position over. Nice stall. Wow, very good reaction there. That was good. All right, so it looks like we're going up. I don't know. So, okay, that's better. I think it's probably better to wait him out at the ledge than it is to try waiting him out at platforms. Nice shine. A little bit, of, little bit, bit of a reach there. Uh, nice. It's a good trade. And that right there is the kind of stuff that you'll see you can do to falling nair. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think it's the third up air was a little ambitious. Nice lasers. I would just laser. You can't. You can't really do much to him there. He could try to sit under the platform and try to get a positional advantage, but he didn't do that either. Shield. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna kill. Which is not surprising. Ooh, that was good. So uh, we saw there that the, the the first like clean hit that Robo got was because he was staying grounded. So we were seeing the adaptation already. He's not double jumping nearly as much. A little bit more wave dashing going on. Uh, I think he would what he wave dash back there and got called out. Just unlucky. I don't think that. That it was necessarily like a true call out because that was probably he hasn't been wave dashing very much at the start, so good. Nice tech. It was important to tech there and to fast fall to get to the ledge. A lot of the ways you you deal with um, uh, Fox's punish game is to just tech away and or sorry, if you're Fox, you deal with Puff and you just DI away and tech away unless you're gonna be off stage and then you might want to you still wanna try to hit the nice. You can you can get to the ledge. Oh, he's gonna missed it, yeah. Oh, he's good. He had one more jump. Cool. All right, so we got a lead here. See how he, see how he handles it. He's still trying to be pretty proactive. He's being pretty aggressive in his movement. Get attack. Nice. Okay. Ooh, he could have rested that. Nice di. A slight di and di behind Fox are the two hardest ones you can he has to react to mm. as a as a Fox player. He's staying pretty airborne. That's fine whenever you have the invulnerability like that. You know, as soon as his vulnerability expired, he started being becoming more grounded again. He's looking to 
out. He's trying to dash out of up smash and grab range, which is fine. I like that. Although with Puff, you could do the same positioning and end up in the same spot by just doing a short hop auto cancel back air. That's not gonna kill. It's very close though. <laughs> oh man. It's a really hard. Good See now, percentage. this is another issue that Esife was having. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. Esife, uh, when you watch this later, uh, you need to. It percents where you don't think you can get an up throw up air on Puff. Try going for a down throw up smash instead. Uh, in my experience, you can you can pretty much all the time just tech chase into an up smash. It, it kills percent. Probably the counter pick for the Ooh, space. So oh, probably gonna get like 34 damage out of this somewhere in there. Nope. Ooh, that was good. Falling up there was good there. All right, so in this matchup. As Fox, I will just sit on the top platform because Puff can't get up there very quickly. Oh, that was a little risky, but I think if he didn't try to jump on the stage with an aerial, Puff was going to come down after him. He's spacing really well. I think Robo's getting a little impatient. Just looking, for, like right there, I think he was trying to get a rest out of a light hit and air and trade stocks. Light hit and air rest. Because he can crouch cancel an air at this point, so it's a little risky. Or trade with it like he did. That's a good call. One more. We can afford it one more time. Put him off stage. Okay. He can probably roll. A lot of players, uh, when they're when they're at higher percents, you get them cornered. They like to roll in the center of the stage. Is it probably that side of the Probably a technical error. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He's doing the he's doing the run again. Ooh. Oh. He should just grab the ledge there. He can react to all of Fox's angles at that point. Nice. Mm. So yeah, the adjustments that I, I think that it. that he needs to do, he needs to grab the sledge. Yeah. Uh, edge guarding definitely needs to be a little bit tighter by Robo. And if you notice, the way that the e side keeps hitting him is he sits right outside of his range and waits for him to commit, mm -hmm. which is pretty standard for Fox. But the only way you can combat that is to pressure. Uh, the fox with your positioning and move him to the ledge or onto a platform and to a spot where it's harder for him to react. So instead of committing like right, you know, like like he's doing, he needs to just like keep moving forward and look for stuffing fox coming in. Mm -hmm. It's like that's a little bit where he needs to be. Okay, so he, he's, yeah. he's he's kind of pushing him to the ledge, just walking at him, wave dashing at him, and then he'll he'll cover his his movement back every once in a while with with a, like a retreating back air. And see, there you go. That, that's what he needs to be doing. And see, right there, uh, Isai picked up on that. He was full hopping a lot. And he's running under him, which is exactly what he needs to be doing. He's not gonna. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> at this percent, um, I know that like Strawberry Love and Robo are definitely not as good at up, uh, smash jacking up throw up air as like Vita. But either way, I honestly think it's just easier to hit the down throw up smash. Mm -hmm. And, I don't, and it's not even really something that I, I practice. It just feels easier. Because oh, yeah. they have less control. They have one option. You know, you know, they they get one chance to to make an, a decision. Whereas with the up throw up air, they get the initial DI, they get the smash DI, they get jump. You know. yeah. okay. So they just have more options out of the up throw than they do out of the down throw. Mm -hmm. And it, when, it's at a, when it's at a percent where it's questionable to go for the up air or the up throw, then it's, it's even worse. You can't afford to rest here. I know the stocks say, yeah, he, the yeah. percent say he can, but that's exactly what he needs to do. Oh. He definitely needed to be going for a gimp there. Uh. All right, so we're seeing uh, we're seeing a little bit of what we saw out of Strawberry Love. That was good. I uh, I didn't actually tell Esife about this, but I did mention it uh, to the people watching the stream in the, in the crowd. And a lot of times when you up throw a puff near the ledge, they try to DI off the stage so that it's mm. harder to get your dash out there. Uh, and one thing you could do to combat that is to back throw them when you get to the ledge because they're hard DIing off stage, so they DI the back throw in. And he did that, so that was nice. Uh, but anyways, we're going to see a lot of double jumping here, I assume, out of Robo just because he's afraid. That's what that's what a lot of puffs do. Or he's going to try to flank him out. That's not going to work. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he, he, okay. Yep. Not much else to say about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Esife takes it. A little, a little less close than the Strawberry Love set, but he did come off of beating Strawberry Love and got a little bit more warmed up in the matchup and everything, so I'm sure that had a little bit to do with it. Yeah. Overall, good game. 
I hope uh, hope both players can learn from what I was talking about.